On December 9th, 1968, Doug Engelbart changed the world. And that's not just me being hyperbolic. The so-called mother of all demos gave us an early look at many of the technologies that eventually formed the backbone of modern computing. The online system, or NLS, featured an actual graphical display with windows and a mouse. And while that might sound tame, remember that in 1968, desktop calculators were still considered state of the art. More impressively though, Engelbart's machine was also capable of doing word processing, real-time collaborative editing, revision control, oh, and video conferencing. Dude basically showed off Skype before digital cameras or the internet were even a thing. And speaking of, the NLS also featured one of the first uses of hypertext linking, you know, the very thing that underlies the entire internet. Now even in 1968, not all of these ideas were completely new, and a few had been shown off before in isolation, but Engelbart was the first to combine all of these disparate technologies into one system, and set the template for modern computing. It was basically the tech equivalent of the Sex Pistols gig that changed the world. Trust me, Google it. People who worked on the NLS or when the audience for the demo went on to refine many of these ideas, some even went on to work at the Xerox Palo Alto Research Center, or PARC, which was a major influence on Apple and the creation of the Macintosh. Engelbart and his team at the Stanford Research Institute had some lofty goals. They didn't want to just build a precursor to Microsoft Word, they wanted to augment human intellect. And honestly, at the time, they weren't taken that seriously. The work they were doing was seen as kind of out there. That is, until the mother of all demos. I'd say history is on Engelbart's side at this point. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.